Here we go. We have a little fun here today. A little something. People are going to chime in soon. All right. Here we go. Here we go. And when they do, I'll be ready. I'm going to try and adjust this accordingly. Oh, maybe I go this way. Which way does this bend? That way. Oh, okay. Here we go. What's up, Frack Daddy? I'm trying to cook it up here, my kids. I'm going to show you guys my pan. Oh, gosh. I didn't think this through, I guess. Oh, I'm trying. That's my pan. But how can I do this? There we go. It's going to be this way. Okay. What's up? What's up? We're doing some smothered pork chops. And we're cooking right here. There we go. Bam. Looks pretty good. That's good, huh? Not bad. All right, I'm gonna pull up my laptop too so I can see you guys' comments. <clears throat> here we go, here we go. You need me to open that for you? Here you go, it's open. All right, who we got? Oh, we got 128 up in here, all right. So I got my pan heating up. Can you guys hear me all right? I know you can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got my LSU. This is my LSU, uh, you know, stuff here. All right, let's see if I can get this <laughs> more like that, maybe. If I can. Too bad you can't, like, zoom in. Oh, you can zoom in. Okay. Bam. It's not bad. All right. <clears throat> so what's up, Elizabeth Hodge? What's up, CJ? Teresa? Just Angel? Carol? Drake Fields in the house. What's up? Paya! What's up, Drake Fields? I make these pork chops once a week. Yes, indeed. Orange one. All right. We're heated up over here. So what we're going to do first is just add a little bit of vegetable oil. I like to coat the bottom of the pan here. And as you can see, this pan is hot. That oil is smoking which is a good thing. We want a very hot pan, get a nice sear on these pork chops. And then we'll use what's left over to do the dang thing. Let's go ahead and put a few at a time. Whoa! Bang! Now we're cooking. What's up, Lisa Edwards? Just Angel, Nia Taylor. What's up, guys? How we doing? Tearing up some pork chops here. This is kind of behind the scenes. What I like to do, move things around there, get them seared up. Uh, she's so chocolate. That is a Teflon pan. Teflon. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Jason says you want to cook with me. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Oh so, man, I hope my phone don't fall here. Let me, I don't have to adjust some here. I don't mean to rattle you guys. I'm trying to get my phone. There we go. Bam. Looking good. All right. Do so you want to get a nice sear on your pork chop? I got a few of them I need to sear up. Oh, look at my wife. She said, hey, babe. Cooper the Great said, I need a splatter guard. <clears throat> Frack Daddy, I have a bunch of coated cast iron. I don't uh, I don't necessarily have just regular cast iron. I like my coated cast iron. Works out really good. It's getting up really good.
That's browning. We want what we want. Booyah, William Evans, what's up? <clears throat> splatter screen, man. Apparently, a bunch of you guys like splatter screen. Is that something you put down here? <clears throat> or, oh, oh, over the pan, I think it is, huh? Jason says, I need that stove. Black Daddy, yeah, man, I'm, I'm close to that 100,000 mark, and uh, that's why I wanted to kind of do this. I've never really done this before. It's, it's fun, you know? Go ahead and put these over. There we go. I'm gonna brown it up a little more another. I'm gonna share this link on my Facebook page. There we go. All right, let's come back to you guys. Brandon Gill, what's up? Joanne LaBeouf, Josh Becker, where's the Cajun seasoning, Bob? Don't you worry about that. Got my own little blend right here. Look at this. Look at that right there. Good stuff. You want to see this? Oh. Something right there. Ooh. Coming soon to a store near you. Huh? Oh, you couldn't see the season? No. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jerry, I didn't put flour on these. I just went ahead and uh, put a little seasoning. But it's okay because um, I'll still be able to get uh, get some gravy, that my desired gravy. I might add flour a little later when I throw in some butter. It will work out just fine. Just Angel, I seared mine with spicy cabbage on the side. Ooh, that sounds good. Billings and Don's of the best boot animals. Right on. Southern Bar. Love the LSU fans. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Go Tigers. Tearing it up. Tearing it up. <laughs> Beautiful. I'll get rid of these little things. Tearing it up. Tearing it up. Gumbo is right at my feet, y'all. That dude, he don't play, little boy. What's up, Gumbo? I got him right here. He's ready. He's ready. Dude is ready. Ready for anything. <laughs> you hopping around? A little more fear. We gotta run this way. Find one side the pan's getting hotter than another. LSU number one. <laughs> Richard said, don't forget about these misplaced two dads. I feel you. Uh, then again, I don't really feel you because I'm right in the midst of it. Looking good. What's up, Flory? What's up, Flory Moore? How you doing? Vietnam says payao, but I say paya. It's more in line with haya. I like that martial arts way of doing it. You know what I'm saying? Paya. Oh, these are good. Nice little sear on them. This one didn't get as brown as I like these, but uh, I got more pork chops to sear, and I kind of want to get them all done. So. 
I got a little brown on it too. <laughs> Where do you get your pork chops? Oh, Rouse's. Rouse's a lot of times put pork chops on sale. I like to go get them. Yeah, it does. It's a beautiful thing. <clears throat> there we go, we got a few more. Piso chocolate, that's a Teflon. Uh, no, Rogue Dog in Alabama and Mississippi too. <clears throat> Steve, Steve Giles, what's up, man? Yo. Richard Dennis is in the heart of Panther Country. Ooh. Feel free. Some of them juices move around. What's up, Rogue Dog? Made them bad boys last night. Yeah. Up in Massachusetts. That's awesome. Right on. Man, I'm holding a pretty steady stream here. 230 people. I don't have that many people coming in. Staying. Jason Brooks says, we just made the sausage and shrimp jambalaya, and it was great. My eight-year-old daughter said, I have to make again, so we'll probably do it again tomorrow. Jeez. Back to back, huh? That's the sub. Look at the blood come out of these things, huh? <clears throat> Let's go see. For whatever reason, this side is not getting as warm, but it's all right. Felicia Wright says, hey, in Tyler, Texas. Lori says she's knocking out jambalaya tomorrow. That is what I'm talking about. Got it. I know I got a few good ones. Let's throw it down. Yeah. Good old trusty right here, boy. Oh no, what's up with the stream? Am I streaming out there? Are you in? Oh, my computer is, is uh, I don't know what's up with my computer. Yeah, but yeah, there it is. I got it. This one's got some good wear in it. That's good right there. What? <laughs> How long does it take to chop, Richard? Richard Dennis. Actually, don't take me very long at all. You know, but it's it's uh, a little different from the pie. Yeah, tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. I keep knocking my camera. I'm trying not to. There we go. <clears throat> oh, Washington County News Station, Utah. Coming in with the 99 cents. <laughs> right on. There you go. There's your, there's your shout out for the day. That's crazy. Are you really Washington County News Station, Utah? Because that's pretty interesting. Yes, Cindy, I'm making some other pork chops. I, Bert, definitely make them. They're great. 
Uh, the Cletus, what's up? Uh, Chris Owen says, where can you get the spoons? You can get the spoons here. I will put that in for you. Boom. What if I can pin that? Can I pin that? Yeah. I can? I don't think I, I was saying if I can pin it. I know I can enter it. See, they got some blood coming out here a little bit. All that brown is going to be so nice. You guys have seen the full to get that up with the onion. <clears throat> I've never done that, Rogue Dog, but that sounds interesting. Eggs and rice, huh? I guess it's kind of like a breakfast, uh, breakfast fried rice or something, huh? <clears throat> Thank you, Megan DeVille. Yeah, Cletus, I've used Sloppy Mama. It's a great product. <clears throat> Wish my stream would stay running, but my laptop's having trouble. You're looking good. What? A breakfast what? Um, I need to do one on the fire dish. Woo, that's hot. <laughs> right on, Drake. <clears throat> I'm glad you're here, buddy, so you keep the chat in line, all right? Remember, you're a moderator. With great power comes great responsibility. Whoa. I ain't them bad, boys. All right. We got to get up some of this browning right here on the bottom of this pan, and we will do that with our onion right here. Boom. Yes, indeed. Good stuff. Oh, yeah, boss. Oh, man, I didn't lost mine. I'm sorry. Huh? Oh, what's up, Ryan DeLeon? Hey, man, your recipes are the best. Hiya! Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much for the support. Gumbo's picking up the money. Let me show you guys how I like the road. Sometimes it gets a little stuck right here, and I'll show y'all a little cold water action. Look at that. Break it up. And you don't worry because all the all that moisture from the onion is gonna help come out and that little water is gonna evaporate. <clears throat> But look at the color coming in on the onions. Beautiful. I love it. I'll just cook them down from here. Getting real soft. What, baby? I can't hear you. Oh, she said it smells good? <clears throat> My wife says we are finally grounded for all the things we never got caught for in our teens. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Woo, we're going to be grounded for a long time. Looking good. Uh, just shared the video on my Facebook and Johnny said he's not happy. <laughs> Why is Johnny not happy? 
Me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Trixie, let's see. Uh, he said he wishes he was there cooking with you. <laughs> ah, solid. <clears throat> One day, dude. Yummy. <clears throat> Yummy. This is good. Huh? Very careful. Definitely poses a challenge trying to see you guys. <clears throat> All right, this is what I like to do right here. I'm throwing in a cake of butter. And this is unsalted butter. Unsalted butter, ladies and gentlemen. Do not be alone. It will all work out. A little more than what you've seen before, but find it helps get the gravy a little thicker. Smelling good up in here, I tell you that. <clears throat> Do they got some comments I need to reply to, babe? Yeah, you got you're a moderator. You can do that. Who was it? <clears throat> Come see. a lot about problems and I, I've never done it. but I guess getting asked so much I probably should dabble in it. Do it. All right, right here we're going to add a third cup of flour. Just going to get all the butter to one side. I mean all the onions. And I'll get that butter kind of leaning over here. It's going to help me mix this flour. Uh-uh. There we go. Boom. You learned something today, Drake. There we go. This is where it gets fun and tricky. Gotta keep things moving. 
but we want to get a nice color. I'm going to do this for a while. <clears throat> it's going to get the onions real, real soft. And as the roux cooks, it's going to bring out a nice color. <clears throat> but it also allows the gravy to thicken later on. Yeah, look at that. My wife's gonna um, <clears throat> my wife's gonna come in and stir. So if the hand looks beautiful all of a sudden, <laughs> let me ask you some of you guys. <clears throat> all right, so who we got here? Who do we have here? Jason Brooks. Sounds like my house with three kids under eight. <laughs> you know how it goes, man. Ah, uh, let's see. <clears throat> Um, Ryan Leon, man, let me tell you, I followed your recipe for hamburger steak with onions and gravy last night. The best. Dude, you the man, bro. That is uh, one that's a, a, a favorite in this house. You know, uh, we love it. It uh, just goes down good, man. It's good comforting food. Um, let's see. Andrew Armstrong. Oh. Matthew, we've had deep fried everything in the South. <laughs> <clears throat> Shane and Carr, I barbecue pork chops and chicken today. All right on. Lori's liking how it looks. Cajun, when you sear in the pork chop, do you have to worry about cooking them too much? I'm always worried about that. Um, you can definitely worry about them burning for sure when you're searing them. Um, you know, you kind of just want to brown them up a little bit, you know, especially with smothered pork chops. You're not going for like this... Um, I guess look, you know, it's not like searing up steaks, you know, steaks are more important to get that nice sear on the outside pork chops. You're just kind of browning them up a little bit just to lock in the seasoning. And then from there, you know, you cook down your onions and whatnot and, and you're able to add the pork chops back in so they can cook down for a long period and get real tender. Um, let's see. Jake says, sure am learning how to cook like a professional ninja. <laughs> Like a pro, boy. We're going to get you a shirt, Drake. You know I got kid size shirts now on my Teespring site. We got kid size shirts. But let me know if you want to get one. I, I, I'm going to take care of that. All the hard work you put in as a moderator. <laughs> Road Dog says, I bumped my face against the screen trying to smell this. <laughs> uh, Tia says, hashtag teamwork. Thank you. Slim Pickens says, what's up, Ninja? What's up? John Sanders, will LSU repeat? Uh, probably not. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. That was a fantastic season. I am just so happy with the outcome of last year. Um, <clears throat> Chris Dupre thinks LSU will repeat. Ricky Royster, God bless you. Hope everything goes good for you. Thank you for this great uh, who are you showing us how to cook? Hey, well, thank you for tuning in, Ricky. Wow, 300 of you guys tuning in. Uh, did anybody come here from Facebook? Look at this. Subscribe from Greece. Stay safe. Well, right on. The hacker known as Fortune. Thank you. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> John Dennis. Now I have to try it this way. Just made it last night using cornstarch. Yeah, man, look, and, and, and look, I, in the past, uh, in the video I have up now on YouTube, I used a half stick of butter and I, I think a fourth cup of flour. But, um, you know, we, we love that savory, buttery flavor. And this is a, an unsalted stick of butter because we seasoned the pork chops prior to this. Um, and I'm going to add some Cajun seasoning, so it, it's going to all be flavored up well. But it will have that good, authentic, buttery flavor in the gravy. It's going to be great. Um, let's see. I did come from Facebook. Saw you live. Thank you, Angel Johnson. <clears throat> and just Angel said, I never knew how to make perfect rice until I started watching the channel. Thank you, though. Well, you got it. Babe, you getting thirsty? Huh? I'm done. Oh, you're done? Well, I know. I'm just asking. I don't even know where I would put it. Because it might be uh, beer 30. Yep. I need my next one. <laughs> we'll be right back, guys. Keep stirring. Yeah, that's good. Mommy, 
Yes, ma'am. Your face get what? Oh, you okay? Maybe I'll be all right. I'll put it in the glass. No one needs. I had a koozie, but it might still show. Gumbo. That's our big brother. I'm coming, guys. Let's see what I got. <laughs> it smells like macaroni. <laughs> it's so onions and butter. It's buttery. It's a buttery roux. I really want it. Don't worry. We're going to need Donna, Donna said, hi, Miss Ninja. Keep that Cajun right. <laughs> Trying. Dane, uh, Dane Booth, from, I'm from Louisiana. We're watching your videos. Have helped me remember some old recipes and bring that Cajun food to all these Okies in Oklahoma. Thanks, my boy. Well, thank you, Dane. Appreciate you tuning in. I'm watching this. Uh, I know, baby, but you can't watch it's that. It's too right. loud, baby. Uh, okay, put it really lower. <clears throat> Do you have a video on making dirty rice? Uh, Sir Paul, yes, I do. I have a video on making dirty rice. Just look up Dirty Rice by the Cajun Ninja, and you will find it. They need to invent a smell app. <laughs> Tierra says, follow the recipe for the hamburger steak and the smothered pork chops, and man, it's delicious. Well, thank you. I'm going to say bravo to you, Tierra. need to refresh my page because... I got my phone. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, probably. That's still on. <laughs> you wanna just go from there. But I could probably think of a few things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Jason Brooks is a nice change from Mr. Cajun Ninja to Mrs. Cajun Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Let's answer some questions or uh, comments. Road Dog says, gosh, the onions alone look like a meal. Mm. <laughs> Old school with a modern twist. I had a friend that was Cajun. My, 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 he could cook. Dude, a lot of people down here can cook really good. No lie. It's my wife's birthday, and I cooked her crawfish at the She loved it. Well, bravo, Mr. Or M. Richard, or is that Richard? I don't know if that's your last name or first name, but tell your wife... Happy birthday. 
Happy birthday. We love it. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. That grease splashed all over my computer. <clears throat> but it's all good. Too bad your nanny doesn't have YouTube. She can't chime in if she's watching. Here. So as you guys can see, it's getting really brown. It's looking good. It's looking real good, actually. Let's see what y'all saying here? Live chat. <clears throat> <laughs> Mark says, this action is crazy. You love it. Oh, gosh. A bunch of y'all chiming in. I'm sorry I'm not answering right away, but don't worry. I'm going to come to you guys. Don't, don't go worry. nowhere. Huh? Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> Stick around. I got to cut open this. Uh, we had some chicken stock for this. What the world uh, All the smells. Love. We love. All right. Like that. Okay, we're going to start looking at it. It's looking nice and brown. I'm going to add some chicken stock. Oh, there you go, man. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> Sharp people problems. There you go. Oh, sorry about that. Let's <laughs> do that all over me. Good, 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 good. Now look, if you want a darker gravy, you would actually cook the onions and, and uh, flour down longer, get more color. But the thing is, is the more you cook flour down, the less likely it will thicken what you're doing. So we still want, you know, some of that thick consistency. Mm. So good. Good, 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 I can move the chat here. Mm. Unmute the smell. <laughs> welcome to the all. Welcome to all the newcomers. Look at that, my boy Drake Fields. He's in it. He's gonna take care of y'all. Oh, <clears throat> Drake Fields is an up and comer YouTuber. One day he's gonna be famous. Right. Way more famous than me. All right. Just wanna let y'all know. Now look out for Drake Fields. He's on his way. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Thanks. You're doing a great job, babe. <laughs> you know, this is live. You know, this is there's no room for error here. We cannot we cannot do a second take. We don't. Mm. All right, we're gonna add this to the mix. A little, just a little flavor. All right. <clears throat> I'm start putting these uh, pork chops back in here. All that brew is cooked in. Hot. I should have probably stacked it a little bit, but <clears throat> it's okay. I'm sorry I'm not seeing y'all chat, guys. Just know that I love y'all. Appreciate y'all being here. 
as I cook down these pork chops. I had a lot of pork chops left in this bag here, so normally I probably don't cook this many. <clears throat> also, my voice is kind of, my voice seems a little like I'm getting hoarse or something. <clears throat> Y'all ever heard that dad joke, why the pony couldn't talk? Because he was a little horse. <laughs> Look at this. Right here, this is all the juices on that plate from the pork chops. You don't forget that. That is goodness. That is some goodness right there. Now we're going to turn our heat up so we can get to a slight boil. I'm not in the gravy at all. Really, let me see if I can move this kind of maybe over here. So good. So good. So good. Fortune, thank you. <laughs> Rogue Dog says, I see you're making enough for everyone. Everyone in this house, that's for sure. I usually have a little bit of water here too, so I'm gonna do that. Yeah. This is gonna bring the temperature back down, but it'll make a little more gravy. Good. So look, once we, once we get a boil like this, guys, cover it up. Y'all know the rules. Cover it up, and then we just lower to a simmer and heat here. And that's going to just cook down for two hours. <clears throat> two hours. And then I will take you guys back up over here. Hey, how we doing, huh? How we doing here? Yeah, maybe I go sit down on my patio. Uh, you mind? Never mind, I got it. What happened? Whoa, hold up now. Who did that? Who did that? Whoa, toss. Friend, what? Friend, Friendber? Wait, Friedenberg? Whoa, you didn't have to do that. This is just a, a fun uh, stream cooking for you guys, but wow, thank you so much. I appreciate that. You know what, toss? There's a cheers to you. <laughs> cheers to you. <clears throat> I'm gonna go hang out in the patio. While I have a little bit of light left. What, baby? Man, thank you so much. Friend, well, well, you know, I'm trying to get my laptop. Maybe I could check out your channel. Oh, let me put that back up here. Right there. Oh. All right, can you guys hear me okay? <clears throat> wow, thank you so much. You know, uh, it, really, it really means a lot. Um, you know, right now, this, uh, <clears throat> this is my livelihood, you know, what I do here on this platform, uh, which by no means anybody else here, please, this is just a fun live stream. I don't expect anybody to super chat any stickers or uh, anything. I'll definitely try to answer as many of you guys as I can. 
Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is my livelihood. And right now it's, it's tough for everybody. Um, you know, what my wife does, you know, her main source of income that she brings into our family is, is she's a hairdresser and uh, she runs a couple salons um, that we, we opened up, started 10 years ago, and those are completely shut down right now. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's, it's, it's nice that I, I've been able to still do a lot of things with this. This platform is still a great blessing. You guys tuning in right now, just tuning in is so huge, uh, you know, for what I do. So as always, I'm so humbled to, uh, to be here with you guys. Um, Let me see if I can go get my laptop and I can see the chat a little better. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. I got my laptop so I can see you guys. Hopefully better. Um, if I can get this thing moving here. Okay, let's see this. Um, Toss Frendenbergs. Go to channel. I'm not sure what you do. It looks like you got some music. Um, cooking right on toss let me know if there's something you're trying to do on your page man I'd love to see you uh, get down all right let's see here um, the feisty quilter smothered pork chops is my all-time favorite meal excuse me my mom made it with cream of mushroom soup and OMG is delicious solid you know what feisty uh, it's one of my favorite meals as well my mom made it when I was a kid, and uh, it's just one of those those ones that has some nostalgia to me. Um, <clears throat> Angel Johnson says, born and raised New Orleans, now in Dallas, not the same. Home cuisine is the best. We do have a unique thing when it comes to food down here, that's for sure. Toss says, no need, just love cooking your food. Thank you. Well, look, Toss, thank you. Uh, I can't say it, uh, it, it again, you know. By no means I expect that, um, but it, you know, it goes to the contribution of my, my page for sure, you know, what I do here. So thank you. Um, Tim Berry, be well, brother. Thank you, Tim. Uh, Dimples, Davis, bunch of hearts and some wine. Cheers. Josh Becker, let me know if you need another mod here. I'd be glad to help out. Hey, I appreciate that, Josh. Just, uh, you know, keep letting me know if things get crazy one day. So far, it seems to be okay, but if it gets crazy enough, I'll definitely uh, look to you. Chris Dupre says his first time watching. He loves it. <laughs> All right. Dean Jones says, yeah, lucky you. Uh, All good. James D., your family and you mean a lot. Well, look, you mean a lot. I think everyone means a lot. You know, uh, one thing I've said before to someone is that when people, like, ever look at me as something above them, you know, just think right now we are standing on the same ground, you know, like you and I are on the same stage. I'm blessed to be here on this platform um, to showcase what I love and get to interact with you guys. But we're here together. So you are just of as much value to me. Uh -uh. Donald says, cheers. Paul says he's wasted. Um, OK, well, Paul. You got to go. Look, Drake, moderator Drake. All right, you see somebody say some stupid stuff, bro. Feel free to hide them from this channel or put them in timeout. You know, they can always get a warning, but you, you have that option, my dude. Just right click on their name or click on their name, I think, you, and then that's how you can get it done. <clears throat> um, Hey, Jessica, how, hey, how did you like the gumbo I showed you earlier? It was off the hook with potato salad. It looked amazing. It looked like you did an awesome job, you know? To me, the thing about gumbo is getting, getting that nice color, you know, having all your meats look real pretty in there, and, and you did that. It looked amazing. <clears throat> uh, sure and Simple says, need to put out some Cajun 
bamboo can you cooking utensils. I, I actually got some at butchakeys.com. You can get the paya spatula. Butchakeys.com if you're interested. <clears throat> Um, T. Roy Cooks. What's up, T. Roy? How you doing? Are you making some cathead biscuits to go with that gravy? Chops and gravy look on point, bro. Thank you, T. Roy. T. Roy Cooks is another, uh, you know, social media. He probably He's probably chef. I don't know. I don't call myself a chef, but this guy is great. Um, if, you, if there's another cooking page you guys want to go and check out, T. Roy Cooks is it. <clears throat> Elizabeth Ann, have you had 57 sauce with pork chops? No, I have not. I'm not actually a big 57 fan. I find it smells and tastes very funny, so. Love your cooking, bro. Praying for y'all and everyone affected by this virus. God bless you for giving us a live glimpse while we're quarantined. My pleasure. You know, um, this is fun for me. I, you know, I, I'm so thrilled to be here. You wanna come pull up, babe? I'm going to get my better half to come hang out with me. <clears throat> that way, if they got any um, questions for you, you can answer. About cleaning? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> my wife is funny. Okay, so there you are. You're in there. All right. You guys can see my lovely wife. <clears throat> Uh, Jason said, uh, just moved to Lafayette, Louisiana from Pittsburgh. Found out I love boudin balls. Do you have any recipes or any favorite place to get some? I do not. Believe it or not, Jason, boudin balls is not my favorite thing in the world. I just, I don't know. It's maybe the texture of it all. I love boudin. I love boudin. But when you fry it into a ball, it just messes it up for me. Clay, sure. Me too, Dimples. There you go. La Kimberly Robertson. I was just in New Orleans for Fat Tuesday. Wish I could have met you. Ah, very sorry. I, I, we didn't bump into each other. Uh, John Dennis, Massachusetts, salt and pepper. Miss New Orleans, but love your cooking. Sticky chicken is where it's at. I love that one. <clears throat> no lie. Um, I was very new to throwing that one down. I was very familiar with the dish, but I hadn't really thrown it down much. But uh, I love the way that one came out. <clears throat> uh, Jonathan Tran, my boss said, as soon as this quarantine is over, we have to have a huge cookout. <laughs> and by boss, we all know that means the one who uh, put a ring on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jonathan Tran's boss ain't, uh, you know, the one writing the check. <laughs> it's the one cashing it. <laughs> uh, that's good. GSW, thanks for the knowledge through the years. We enjoy your recipes, but thank you for being here. GSW, holy cow, where'd it happen? Let's see. Um, Sherry Wilson, what kind of sides do you like to cook? Uh, most of the time it's corn, to tell you the truth. Uh, I'm more of a main dish kind of guy. Saying hello from Houston, Texas. Been a fan for over a year. You're awesome, brother. Well, thank you. Uh, it's either Jose or Jose. Jose Martinez. Um... <laughs> Your sister is not going to punch you in the face. But she is. She's four. She might punch you in the face. <laughs> Tell her, Juju. She's going to throw a stool at me. Juliet, come she see. She can't pick up the stool. The two stools. Oh, Jesus. She's coming. Don't worry. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to solve this. Juliet. Hey, can, oh, that's, that's not Juliet. What are you doing? I'm live right now talking to the people. Oh my gosh. I do not bake uh, Justin very much. Come see, Jew. Come see. Cold. Come see. It's in here. She's cold see. in come here. <laughs> All right, listen to me. All right? Don't punch your sister in the face. <laughs> okay? Okay. All right. What you, what you we don't punch our sisters in the face. Okay? It smells so good. You yeah, but you hold me lightly, so that, that, so that doesn't mean you hold holding um, her lightly. I know you hurt her. You... you <laughs> having their own you, argument you, over you, here. You, 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 okay, all right, thank you. Don't okay. punch nobody in the face, okay? Go watch our movie. <laughs> Born. All right, so here we go. Um, 
Uh, Scarface says, I love the shirt. Go Saints. Yeah, yeah, this is a great shirt, man. I bought this like, whew, I bought this shirt probably like eight years ago. Um, just saw it at like a little shirt outlet in New Orleans and I love it. You know, it says just do it. You know, kind of like, you know, the, the popular brand out there who says that. But it's spelled D-E-U-X. So, uh, That's not how you spell do. do that is the Cajun way of spelling do. D-O. Jessica says go Saints. Um, let's see, uh, I'm trying to look for some questions you guys may have had. Hey there from Austin family, Lafayette, Erath area. I've been cooking your recipes since my son was born. Thanks for teaching me to cook great meals like I grew up with for him. No way, hey, Miles, you bet, man. The least I can do is uh, throw down some dishes for you guys. So thank you for being here. <clears throat> Ever put boudin in your seafood boil, drop them in when you turn the burner off. Josh, I've been told this and I have not done it yet, but I really want to do it. Um, I don't know if you've watched my crawfish boil video. Um, I wrap up hot tamales. <laughs> and I, they're really good. I wrap them up with some foil and throw them in at the end when it's soaking. And um, man, they get tore up. There's none left. So um, I'd love to try that with the boudin. <clears throat> West Coast Cajun Cuisine, what's up? In the house, says what's up. Uh, let's see. Oh, Sure and Simple says, thanks. I'll be ordering two spatulas. We'll check back for other items. Right on, Sure and Simple. And look, um, I mean, I don't really think I have much else as far as, um, let's see, as far as, Anything else on Butcher Keys, like uh, uh, cooking utensils, but I do have a merch site. I shake it. I just shake it. Okay. I just shake it already. Put that in the garbage. And I'll show you guys in a second. <clears throat> this is it. If you want to check out any of the shirts I wear, um, and you can even use this code. Bam. Right there. <clears throat> my screen locked up so do you have a beignet recipe yes i do I, I did beignets actually a few years ago it's an older video so it's in like a vertical format but i do want to redo that one what'd you laugh at Who's doing the dishes? <laughs> Who's doing the dishes? Mm. Let's see. Mommy, I don't know how to get it back to all the all the movies. That way you can get more in the screen if you want to scoot over. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I know you have to pull it. Get this. Give me. I pressed the house. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, T-Roy, dude, I'm telling you, uh, give that a try. Um, Mickey Browns is a good tamale company. I don't know if you guys are Mickey Browns, but whatever good tamales you like out there, that I usually keep them frozen. Kind of the same way, you know, like a lot of people like to add ice at the end of their crawfish boil because it brings down the temperature um, and then they can soak up all that seasoning. Um, I don't do it that way. And the reason why is because I don't want to dilute the seasoning that's in there. So I save my frozen cor Excuse me. My frozen corn and um, the frozen tamales for the end, which helps bring down the temperature and uh, also add a little something to it, you know? Okay. <clears throat> Dimple says, Does, do Miss Ninja cook? Do Miss Ninja cook? Yeah, she cooks. Every once in a while. She has to. Yeah, <laughs> when she has to. Um, yeah, I mean, dude, she, she can handle a lot of things, you know. We've both actually learned a lot along the way. Um, the funny thing is, is uh, like before I really got popular with cooking, long before I had a channel, long before any of this, um, I was learning, you know, and um, there was a time together we tried to do a roast, like the first one we ever did, we were, we were in our early 20s and we had an apartment and, um, and <laughs> that roast tasted like meat and water. <laughs> It was, uh, it was great. It was, great. <laughs> it was so good, you know. Um, it, it lacked flavor, if I should say. So, you know, we are no different from anyone else. You know, we learn. 
Uh, let's see. Well, Chris Anderson, I just posted that merch site. I hope you saw it. Uh, let's see. Uh, you should look into a chat bot such as Stream Elements. You can add commands and the bot will return links. Oh, okay. That's cool, Josh. I think I've heard of that before. I've never really done it, but that is cool. Um, Christopher Osborne says, Hey, my ninja. Fellow Louisiana animal here from Slidell. Love your show, man. Where do you get those pots and pans from, bro? Here's another thing that people ask me often. And thankfully, with the power of the internet, I'm able to almost create a link for everything. So with Amazon, I was able to create an Amazon influencer page. And I'm able to link the items I, I use on my cooking show. So that way people can go to one place and see all the things I use. And I've had to go as far as even adding like my hats. Like some people go, where you got that hat from? And I'm like, okay. So I find it on Amazon and bam, it's there. So here it is, amazon.com slash shop slash the Cajun Ninja. And if you go there, you can look at the different cookware that I use. <clears throat> Let's see here. Are those gnats bad at your place? They're awful here. We haven't had bad flies yet. Um, thankfully, the last like week has been like really cool weather, like really cool. Awesome. Like it feels really cool outside right now. And like normally we would be chilling out here, you know, uh, enjoying our fire pit, which is what I have. Oh, oh, thank you. oh, oh gosh, <laughs> rotation. Oh, <laughs> this is the uh, fire pit right here, which is uh, you know what I, I'm actually standing standing the uh, the camera on. <laughs> on the fire pit. But I don't have the fire lit. <laughs> Oh gosh, there we go. Juju wants auto A little lower, right there. Okay. Whew. Boy, that was almost a disaster here. Juju, why do you want that on whenever it's for the This is some good social distancing, right? You know? <laughs> we, uh, we are crushing our social distancing. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to my wife. Thank you all for being here on this fine. What day is it? <laughs> Saturday evening. Bella, because it's orange. I'm smarter than you. I can't put the snow on. You don't even know what day it is? Apparently. You need to go back to school or something? I need to I go could, back I to could, school? I could pay you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said school. I got beignet dough in freezer. Do I take it out of the plastic overnight? I'm going to cook them in the morning. Dawn, you can just take it out tonight and let it defrost. And it'll kind of rise in the bag, and uh, it usually does. If it doesn't, that means the yeast might have died or whatnot, but it still all works. You just pound it out, roll it out, fry them up. It's still really good. That's because you came in late, Steve Welsh. We did a lot of cooking. I'll say that too. Yeah, we did a lot of cooking, all right? If you don't, you know, right now we're chilling because the food is just simmering. What are we going to do? And thankfully, people stuck around and said, hey, I want to hang out. What else you got to do in court? Thank you, Josh. Brandon Harvard from Slidell. Uh, let's see, what, what happened? It jumped. I lost track of the days as well. I feel you, Jay. Prankles, peckles, whatever they are, whiskers. You got it, Chris Osborne. Classic country Saturday night, 97.3. <laughs> well, there you go. Chris says, I found your Amazon merch site. I don't necessarily have a merch site, but I got that, Am that Amazon influencer page. Okay, you, so you want to go back? You want me to go back and show you the pork chops? I can do that. Rogue Dog, I do like Dixie beer. Me Actually, too. before I go show you the pork chops, we went to a 5K. Hey, chill out. In New, in New Orleans? <laughs> yeah, we yeah, did the, the Saints, Saints 5K. Yeah. And when it was over, they had Dixie beer. Like, the, the cool thing about 5Ks is a lot of times they serve jambalaya and give away beer at the end of them. And so, like, you pay, like, 20 bucks to run the race, but you get a shirt, you get a medal sometimes. You get beer and you get jambalaya. You don't get beer. <laughs> yeah, I'm off. I'm on. I'm off Dos Equis. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
She's like, <laughs> Josh Becker says, someone say free beer? <laughs> Mama Bear says, how much alcohol are you guys consuming since lockdown? Not much. I mean, there was a good hot minute. We really didn't, didn't drink, you know. It was, uh, you know, it was just kind of like focusing on cooking dinner, getting through the week. Um, the girls still are still doing school kind of. Online. Yeah, online and what have you. So it's, it, so this so is literally nice. like an actual Saturday for us and enjoying Saturday. <clears throat> um, let's see. Rogue Dog loves going to Jazz Fest. <laughs> Melody Sharon, hey y'all, have some awesome, oh, some beautiful girls. Oh, thank you, thank Melody. Thank you. Very kind of you. <clears throat> I'm in Seattle with my Louisiana wife. Are you willing to say where in Louisiana you are? I understand if not. South Louisiana is what I give you. That works. <laughs> Let me show you the uh, pork chops. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Smell like a pork chop. All right, this is my beautiful backyard here. A lot of scenery, a lot of beautiful scenery. It is kind of raining right now. Yeah. All right, so people want to see the chops, but you're not going to see much because they are just boiling up. Oh, Ooh. there you go. That is hot. Yeah, very it's hot. So bubbly. It smells <laughs> like burnt macaroni. It does not smell like burnt macaroni. It smells really good, actually. It kind of smells like toast now that it changed my mind. It smells like toast now that she changed her mind. So, <clears throat> there you go. There is the pork chop simmering. You click that link, but she, you didn't send her that. I sent her that right there. No. Tell her, click the... Uh, Mama Bear said, great job of mowing the lawn. <laughs> is that an inside joke? Because if it is, we know why. You know who mowed that lawn. <laughs> she did do it. Ain't no lie. It was funny, though. When she was first, she was on the zero turn. And, uh, but I did get the hang of it. Yes, you did. She did. She got the hang of it and did a great job. And um, When y'all get to the edge of the ditch, it scares me. And um, the dogs, man, they're going crazy. They want to fight <laughs> each other. It's that time. They fight and Wrestle. then they love each other. Um, <laughs> when she was getting the hang of it, uh, it was funny. Like, 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 if you've never been on a zero-turn lawnmower before, it is tricky. Like, you push one way, it turns one way. This way, it turns the other. Pull it, you got to pull back, it turns one way. There's a, there's a reverse and forward on each hand. So it's really crazy. All right, dogs, y'all go inside. Bella, take a minute. Go, go. Go. There you go. Bye. Bye. All right, here we go. Go, get away from the door. Get away Karen Delcom said yes. Hey, Karen, how you doing? Get away from the door. Mike Pancake, Shreveport watching you. Right on, Mike get Pancake. That's a, that's a very interesting name. Get away from the door. I would like some pancakes, too. <laughs> we have pancakes in the fridge. It probably doesn't taste good anymore, though. I need to, need to cook them. Um, Charles says, do you have any neighbors that are fans of the Cajun Ninja? I guess so. I don't, I don't like to, like, yeah. go and say, like, oh, yeah, my neighbors love the Cajun Ninja. I mean, I know there's a few, I know a few of my neighbors here, and, uh, yeah, I would say, I would say definitely, yeah. Um, <laughs> Debbie, hey. <laughs> uh, Aunt Debbie's watching, bud. Huh? Huh? Um... <laughs> No, uh, but yeah, definitely. Like, actually, I got I got a neighbor, a really cool guy. Uh, um, he actually bought bought a bunch of shirts, and um, you know, when I first moved here, like, we have like a neighborhood page, and like, I, I I had messaged it because my lawnmower broke. All I did was outline the yard, and I was like, man, I just started. So I just messaged the the page, and I was like, is there anyone who'd be willing to lend me the lawnmower because mine just crashed? And this guy came right down the street, cut my whole yard, and, and was just cool as can be. And, uh, you know, he just recently sent me a picture. He, he bought shirts for his whole family. So, yeah, I definitely have a few neighbors, and it's, it's really cool. I'm, I'm humbled by it, you know. Uh, let's see. 
Watching you guys from Paris, France. Wow. wow. That is really cool, Pierre. Petty. <clears throat> that is really cool. So I guess you uh, have gotten a really good look at the Eiffel Tower, which is really, it's on my bucket list. I would love to see the Eiffel Tower one oh, day. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Let's go to Paris. Jason Brooks says, and why the name Cajun Ninja? That's a great question. So when I started the page, it wasn't called that. It was just kind of a play on my name. And um, I really didn't know which direction I was going in. But the very first video I did, I was throwing the vegetables in the pot and I said, Paya! and then like after that, uh, the next video I did, I, I had the wild hair to chop the vegetables with my hand, which looking back on it now was probably a, something I should have thought of that maybe was a little easier when it comes to actually doing and editing. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, it's kind of my trademark. And, um, you know, from there, I was calling myself the Cajun Ninja because... Um, I'm, I'm a huge ma martial arts advocate. I'm a third degree black belt in Taekwondo and I actually teach Taekwondo and I love MMA. Um, but you know, like the terms for like a Taekwondo expert is like master. And I guess I didn't really want to call myself the Cajun master, you know, it just sounded like I was being a little egotistical. Cajun ninja. So, um, the word ninja is like very common with anyone when it comes to martial arts. Um, I've always been a big fan of ninjas since I was a kid. The Ninja Turtles, uh, American Ninja, not the Warrior Show. The, there was actually an old movie called American Ninja. Um, so in the moment, the Cajun Ninja was what it was. You know, it was a play on my heritage and uh, my love for martial arts. Spencer said, what I need to do to get a plate of food from you? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. I don't know how to pull that off, bud. Social distancing. We social distancing. <laughs> Dang, I lost my spot. <clears throat> oh, great. At least you're not hiding. Hey, Janke says, I'm going to make your pork chop recipe tomorrow. <laughs> Me and my family in Covington love the recipes. Well, thank you, Janke. Thank you for tuning in. I hope the uh, pork chops come out amazing. One second. Your nanny's still watching? I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Um, let's see. Daddy, thank you. Hey, see you later, T-Roy. I don't know if you're still here, but I see you left or you were leaving, so hope all is well. Stay safe, man. Um, I'm looking. I don't know where I lost my spot, but somewhere. It was, um, what I need to do to get a plate. Um, no, go, go, oh, go. Spencer. Melanie okay. Benoit. Hey, Misty, how's hey, homeschooling? Hey, Want to swap yeah. kids oh. a day or two? Hey, Mel. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have any boys. So, you know. Except for this uh, pile of manliness right here. Y'all know if y'all transfer a boy up, gonna get a girl. <laughs> We definitely don't want to do that. Huh? Three girls is plenty. I want another baby. I love holding. Y'all know how You I just love said like a month ago that you wanted no more. You wanted no part of us no. having another kid. Nothing. Well, I like holding baby Jordan. You'll get that opportunity. How are you guys going to lock down on hey, Easter? So like many. Uh, Lots of new boils and big party, but you know it's just not safe. Yeah, mom like was there. Yeah, we just got to party with each other. You know, I think the blessing for us is that Missy and I uh, went ahead and had three kids and every night's a sleepover. <laughs> Literally. A girl sleepover. Every night. Oh, a girl sleepover? I, I, I had a sleepover. I'm not telling that story. I can still, I still remember it today. <laughs> Rogue Dog says, I can lend you a push mower. <laughs> well, that was like four years ago, but I appreciate it. We have one. Can you make Millie Tongs? You know what, I have not dabbled in that, but many people want to see it. <clears throat> Karen said, Rick made your jambalaya. Well, bravo to Rick. I hope it came out amazing. What are you? <clears throat> oh. That's Juliet. <laughs> I thought it sounded like a girl whining. <laughs> 
Do you have a Dutch oven brand pot you like to cook with over others? Is that what the red pot is? You use a lot of videos. Actually, uh, yeah, I love I, I lo the pots I use are uh, Le Creuset, which, you know, is Missy's nanny put us on to that. Uh, well, nanny and Uncle Bob uh, put us on those pots um, a long time ago, probably when we first went out there, which was, oh, it was like 13 years ago. And um, we bought our first one back then, and we still have it. It looks amazing. It cooks really well. But the thing I love about them is they have a lifetime warranty. Um, I know theirs in particular kind of got worn down a lot on the bottom, and then they were able to call the company, let them know, and they uh, they um, just replaced it, you know? No questions asked. So um, I think they might have asked a few questions, but they did replace it, so I thought that was cool, you know? Lord, my girls are just... three girls. They're chatting it up in here, and it's like... Like it, and I don't know how well you can hear them in the background, but like she's like right in my ear trying to talk to Misty and what have you, but we making do. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Melody said we are big fans from West Baton Rouge. I love, wait, whoa. Okay, one second. Oh, I'm coming. No, I got it. Come on, come on. Go inside. Go. Go. Look. She's still looking at me. Her name. <laughs> yeah, Debbie, you famous now. <laughs> Debbie's always been a famous name. I mean, little Debbie. <laughs> Debbie does. Oh, we probably shouldn't say that. Okay. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, okay, Melody, we are big fans from West Baton Rouge. I have COVID-19, but feeling somewhat better. Wow. Well, Melody, that is good news that you're on the rise. Um, yeah, look, I have no doubt a lot of people had this, you know, or, or even going to have it, um, that aren't going to get tested, that uh, you'll never hear about. And um, with that being said, that's kind of a good thing because if people pass from it, you're going to know. You're going to know who dies from it because there's always an autopsy on a person's body and, and it will be discovered that they had it. Um, but the people that don't have it, I mean, that have it that are cases and they beat it, there's going to be many that you don't hear of. So that means that more people are beating it than not. Regardless, what we're going through right now is, is definitely warranted. Um, you know, there's, there's many, many people that, you know, walk around on a daily basis that are just you know, prone, I don't know the words, prone to illness, or they're just, they're, 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 an, <clears throat> I can't think of the words right now, but they're more likely to, to suffer from Their this. Their immune system's low, or they have. Yeah, but there's a word I'm trying to think of, like, um, they're vulnerable, you know, they're, they're vulnerable, and, um, and, you know, should they catch it, they may not beat it, you know, uh, there's a great line I heard that I love, and it's, Everybody's a tough guy until their mom or grandparent passes away. You know, mom or dad or, or grandparents pass away, you know. Um, and what's crazy is, is that this was the reversal where, like, the elderly were told they're going to be okay and that the youthful ones are more likely to die from this. They would do everything to be quarantined and stay away and social distance. You know, um, our grandparents... And the older parents would do everything in their power to save us. So we should do the same, you know. <clears throat> and I wish you well, Melody. Keep fighting the good fight. I'm, I'm glad to hear you're doing well. And uh, thank you, as always, for watching uh, the content. Really cry because she really wants her play team. It's in her bed. Yeah, not in the bed. It's in her bed. We're crying over blankets that we can't find. And it's in her bed. I mean, apparently we lost it when we took that trip from the bedroom to the living room. <laughs> to the window, to the wall. You know, because, you know, we did a lot of traveling around here. It could easily be left in 
hotel master bedroom, you know. Toy room? Yeah, toy room. Gaming Buddha says, get get that pop and see him. You know it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Deadpool's loves the uh, veggie cutting. Thank you. Ben, I think you're right. Susceptible. That was probably the word I was looking for. <laughs> you know, they, they, they are uh, definitely more likely to, uh, to not be, you know. All right, here we go. User in timeout. Can't come around here, you know, spamming, dude. I mean, let's enjoy ourselves. <clears throat> Chris Anderson, my dinner's ready. Thank you and your family for what y'all bring to the greater community in this hard time. This was a very positive time spent. Well, thank you for tuning in, Chris. I don't even know how long we've been on here. Almost an hour and a half. That's pretty good. It's pretty dang good. Uh, we are officially locked down. Well, not officially locked down, but there is, you know, an order in place for us to stay home. Not everybody's doing it. You know, you got places like Lowe's that are still open, so people think it's a good time to put down some fresh mulch. <laughs> Look, and if you're here watching, I'm not holding nothing against you. I get it. You know, you think I got enough to do. I might as well take care of some things around the house. But like, really, we should be in a state of, is it essential? You know, that's that's just where our brain think should be. Think about the employees that work there. Yeah, everyone. You know. I mean, I feel bad for some of these employees. You know, they're in a position where like they're forced to go to work or faced, you know, being let go. So, um... Yeah, but it's not an official lockdown, but it should be. <clears throat> wow. Warren Fox says, I lost my mom and dad in 2016, only 87 days apart. Makes you a big sissy. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that, Warren. Um, you know, I, I can assure you that I, I truly believe they are in a better place. And they uh, look upon you with proud eyes. Um, it's the ones left behind who su suffer the most, you know. Um, we're left here on this earth still having to face all the things that come with being human, which is the emotions of, you know, depression, anxiety, ups and downs of happiness and sadness, um, you know. So my prayers go to you, you know, and uh, that, you know, brighter days prevail and that, uh, you know, when you're looking for strength, thinking of good times will pop in your mind. <clears throat> Praying for everyone impacted. Thank you, Dimples. We usually come to Homer for Easter. That's usually when we have a crawfish ball and I get to stock up on goodies from bourgeois. Yeah, Tracy, it's unfortunate, man. A lot of people can't do much of anything these days. Um, let's see. Feisty quilt. That could be an immunocompromise. Do y'all like biscuits with white gravy? I love white gravy. Maybe y'all can hook up a white gravy with sausage recipe. You love uh, white gravy. I do. Melanie, I love white sausage gravy. Um, over some pork chops. Not pork chops. Some uh, country fried steak or biscuits. That is my jam. Oh, you got a little hazel pup. This dog here, bro. All right, let me tell you about this dog. She has the look of like... If you're a parent and you have seen Shrek, the little cat, Puss, mm. is what this dog is. Nothing. Hazel, show me, show me sweet little face. No, look at this face. <laughs> it is like this, this little cute little face. <laughs> <laughs> Her feet are going everywhere, so she won't do it. But, but she's got this like cute little like, like face of like. Poor me, you know, and those ears, it's so crazy. Her ears, watch, her ears will like go back if she thinks she's really like in a position of vulnerability. I can't really say the word, but you know what I get. So you see her ears stick out like this. Now watch. Listen, Hazel, Hazel Pup. Oh, no, huh? <laughs> you got, you, you with daddy right now and I can't hold you a lot, okay? I know you want some loving. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We were a one dog family, but Misty has a habit of like 
watching shelter news feeds or whatever. They break my heart. The dog shelter news feeds, and she loves to go through them. And one day she hit me with that one, and I got sucked in, and here we are. I'm not going to lie. I love her, too. What's crazy is lovable as she seems right now, man, her thing is to bite you. Like, not, like, hard, but, like, she just loves to bite. Like, she likes to play growl a lot, and she bites the other dog. She kicks his butt. <clears throat> yes, Pierre, puss in boots. That's it right there. All right, here we go. Uh, Melody Sharon, thank you so much. It's been a rough 10 days. I have three autoimmune disease, so I'm more susceptible to getting sick. Not out of the woods by far, though. I can't wait to cook those pork chops. Whew, well, look, if there's anything I can say, drink plenty of liquids, get plenty of rest. Vitamin C is crucial. Blueberries are fantastic. You can buy a bag of frozen blueberries, throw them in some oatmeal, knock them out. Um, you know, stay on top of it with as much um, organic stuff you can put into your body. <clears throat> yeah, Melissa, that's it. You know, you go to the grocery store, you know, if you got to go to the doctor. Great. Um, if you need fuel because you are bringing something for like emergency purposes. Yes. But other than that, you're right. Stay home. <clears throat> Cooper the Great says, what are you guys doing all day? During the quarantine. <laughs> this is it. This is, it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is pretty much it. You know, we, 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 we decide where we traveling to today, living room or patio, <laughs> you know. But uh, it hadn't been too bad. I, I think for me, I've, I've handled it pretty well. Uh, Missy's had some moments where she's gotten a little stir crazy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, thank you, Tracy. She's a cute dog. <laughs> <laughs> God skills says she looks like she's spoiled. She is spoiled. <laughs> I guess it was just something grandparents taught everywhere. Hometown was from Maurice. Yeah. Elizabeth said, I've been cooking a lot by watching Chef Simon on social media. I work at restaurant and it's officially shut down until end of April. Yeah, uh, Elizabeth, that's a lot of people in the restaurant industry. It's unfortunate. <clears throat> Who wins in a staring contest? Between me and my wife? <laughs> like, don't blink? Is that what you mean? Between me and her, don't blink. Don't Is laugh? That, don't blink or don't laugh. I can't. You let me know. I like a little competition. <laughs> okay. My grandfather and grandmother used to cook it for me and my mom also. Melissa says cabin fever. Oh, John said you better get crack a lacking on that rice. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I do need to do that. <laughs> oh, man. Around what time? Let's see. Yeah, but how long? It hasn't that been. No, we cook it down for a while. Yeah, we, we, yeah, chopped. this got to cook like down for. Sorry if that glitched. I'm live again. Um, yeah, my, uh, my neighbor was calling me. <laughs> if he's watching live, I'm going to have to tell him, uh, hey, bud. Maybe I can send him a text. Am I still? Am I back? Am I back? I, I don't know. I don't know. I just lied. You didn't even know. <clears throat> Drake said, "Try not to laugh." Challenge between Ninja and wife. <laughs> Try not to laugh. Challenge. So we stare at each other until the first person laughs. I can't. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> so much I'm about to rock it back inside. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I'm sending it to the name. Okay, all right. Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Or no? We'll it said I was live. Back. No picture. Can, no, no pick. Okay, no picture. Oh, man. That's brutal. No pick. He messed it up. Well, Ryan, if you clicked on this, your phone call crashed the live stream. <laughs> I just sent my neighbor the link, and if he's here, you crashed my live stream. Let's see. <laughs> 
Um. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how to fix this, guys. Let me see what I can do. Maybe if I hit this button. They can hear us, but no video. People are saying, boo, Ryan. <laughs> He's texting you. <laughs> he, oh, he just texted me. He said, uh, we sure wasted a lot of water today. We both watered our yards, and now it's been raining for like a good hot minute. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's see. Maybe I can uh, get out of this stream and start stream, a new one. Start another one. Just an idea. Thank you, Drake. Let's see if we can do that.